Go. Okay. As you can see, my well, it's the wrong shoulder. <laughs> my suitcase is still back in my bed. Uh, we just got back from like the winter break. I was able to get home safely for Christmas. Uh, and New Year's in that like one week in there, which was great, but I haven't even taken the time to unpack because it is so important to not only get you a full installation guide to the newest version of the Nugent face pack uh, and to also get you the Mac installation. Pew, 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 pew. Finally did the Mac installation. All of it's done. The Nugent face pack is literally a hundred times better than when it came out. So this is the full rundown of installations. Let's get started. A quick rundown, if you don't know what the Nugan face pack is, it is a fully UI automatic face pack that is ethnicity identifying for your regions in Football Manager. It has random AI generated faces that look 100% real. They will completely blow your mind and they are available complete, you know, for free. As long as you follow these steps and these steps are so much easier than the ones that the initial video had you doing. So all those complaints and struggles, this it is like four steps. Watch them happen. You have to install Football Manager. That is the only prerequisite. Uh, we're going to go to FM Base. And then when you're on FM Base, on the side, literally it says region, like your FM21 Essentials region face pack, and it is there. Awesome. But what you need to do is download the actual face pack. And so I am a loser that doesn't want to torrent. If you know how to torrent, you you can. Uh, I'm going to download it with Media Fire. And this is how you download the actual face pack with the, the actual faces. You just click download. There's also a torrent link. That torrent link is right here. Uh, so when you go up and you click download, you have this. This is the link you want. And at this point, if you are on Mac installation, you're going to want to skip to the next chapter. If you are installing on Windows, you're in the right spot. Just keep drinking that soda, stay back in the chair, right? We don't want to overexert. If you haven't stretched, it can be dangerous. Okay, uh, you click download. And when it downloads, it's going to be zipped. Now, literally both Mac and Windows, you're going to be able to unzip it. So life is fine. But now we're on to the UI portion of this. And that's where when you click download here at the top of the screen, this shiny download button we've already clicked once, uh, you're going to download the installer that you desire. So I want the Windows installer, and that is what we're gonna grab. So download Windows installer, just put it in your downloads, doesn't matter. And once it's downloaded, you can go to downloads or just kind of click it in the bottom left because Windows just knows how to read it. You can literally just click it and it will open. Even though it's already zipped, it will open. And so there are three things in here. You've got one, which is gonna say Windows, that's the actual installer. And these other two things we'll deal with later. So we'll click into Windows and we'll click on the installer. Now it's gonna pop up with something and it's like, oh my God, Windows is protecting your PC from undue challenges. Okay, it, click more info and then click run anyways. Uh, I'm doing it to my computer right now. Uh, so you can rest assured that it is safe for yours because I love this computer more than life itself. Uh, you're going to want to install the UI real quickly and then uh, twiddle your thumbs. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're done. Got lost in the sauce there. Now you go down to the search bar and you can just type like Nugan manager. And then there it is. You can right click this and pin it to your taskbar if you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's got this funny little face. You can just click on it there too. Uh, and it will open. Ta -da! This is the newest version of the Nugan face pack. Uh, and again, it is so much easier to install than before I cannot express to you. Now I'm gonna open another file window. You can do this in the same file window if you want. I just think it can be kind of annoying to do that sort of thing. But I am going to click these other two. So you see how I was in on the installer on Windows. I just click out and you've got filters and views. Hold shift and select them both. Right click, copy. And then you are going to go to Documents. Holy smokes, where am I? Documents, Sports Interactive. I can't, I can't do it. Football Manager 2021. And then you're gonna right click and you're gonna paste. It, this will not pop up for you. If you have run an earlier version of the face pack, you can replace the files in these destinations. It will create a filters folder for you. Even if you already have one, uh, then you want to go into the filters folder here and just move this over uh, and it will create a views folder for you. If you already have one, it's likely because you had an earlier version of this face pack. If you have it for another reason, then go into the views folder and then just copy and paste the stuff into your views folder right here. But the simple version is you just copy them, paste them right here into Football Manager 2021's folder uh, in documents. You are then done with all that sauce.
Okay, so very typical Zealand stuff. This tutorial was actually ready to come out two days ago, but as I was filming it, the charger for my Mac broke, which is a shocking problem when you live nowhere near a Mac store. So I had to use Amazon to get a new Mac charger to finish filming this tutorial. So without further ado, let's do the Mac part. You are going to need again to download that large face pack, but you already know that cool, good for you. And I've already done that here. There's a free tool on Mac that allows you to unzip that stuff right away. And it is archive utility. We have to get that folder that you then download and unzip you have to get it into Football Manager. So how you do that on Mac, if you've not messed with any of this stuff before, you go to Finder, you can go to Search, uh, and you can literally just search Football Manager, and you are going to find your Football Manager 2021 or Football Manager whatever. I'm gonna search this Mac, don't search Recents. You just search the whole shebang, and there's Football Manager 2021. So what I want you to do is you found that, go ahead and favorite it, because we don't want to have to go through this whole problem of like <laughs> finding it again. Do that, I'm going to grab the folder, I'm going to drag it over here, and so it's always over on the side as a favorite for, for this kind of quick access dropping that we're going to need to do. So let's go back. You've already downloaded the face pack, which we were talking about earlier in the video, but now you need to download the Mac installer, right? So that's what we're going to do next. Still easy so far. So now we open up downloads, open with archive utility, and we will be cranking open this new shindig. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this down. And there are two things in here that we're going to need to move. And this is the same as in Windows. We're going to grab those two things, click and drag them into Football Manager. Then we're gonna open the Mac OS section and we're going to launch this. This is your actual interface that is gonna help you install the face pack here on Mac. If this doesn't pop up for you, you're going to need to drag this NuGan Manager into applications yourself. So you find wherever it's gone now that you've opened it uh, and then drag it into applications, which is easy. It's, it's just right over on the side, but usually it should pop up like this for you. And so our fun little B here, you just drag him into the applications like a buddy and he is going to load. You don't do it twice because you know how to uh, work a computer. Good for you. Steve Jobs would be so proud. So we open this up and our new GAN manager is there in applications, just like any other application you've ever run. So once you click on it, you might, depending on your security settings, you're going to get this pop up. But just in case you do, here's what you do about it. So you get this pop up, we're going to click this little question mark, and then that is going to allow you to go to open the general pane for me, where you're going to be able to open up your security and privacy settings. This is Max not doing anything wrong here. It's just trying to protect you. But you know, this is we made this this is a trustworthy thing here. So you're going to see a new GAN manager was blocked from use because it's uh, not from an identified developer where hi, we're the developer. <laughs> uh, and you click open anyways, and then it's going to go ahead and go and you shouldn't have any problems with that anymore. So now we are open on a Mac UI for our face pack and you're going to want to create a profile. So and then you're going to want to create that profile and boom, you've got that profile. You create that profile and then we got to do one more thing before the two paths unite again and we can go back to me from two days ago telling you about it. As we have to go back to the downloads and just in case you hadn't already, let's go in and find that new GAN, that face pack, right? And let's drag it into Football Manager. Boom. Spam right in there. And we're going to create a new folder that says graphics. And we're going to throw that in there. Then you are going to select your image file. That is what you're going to select. You're going to go into your football manager folder. You're going to go into your graphics folder and you're going to select that right there is your images. Uh, and for all of the stuff in the game, we go back to me from two days ago. And then once you come back to this interface, uh, you want to allow duplicates generate and hit replace faces just in case uh, you are going to end up skipping that part at the end. So I'm going to open my Twitch save. I'm uh, Oriental Dragon. If you want to hang out and watch me play Football Manager and talk about stuff. And I, I just I'm even doing a Red Dead Redemption playthrough. It's all on Twitch. And I did that because it's down in the description. So, yeah. So you're in your save, and whether it's a brand new save or a save you've been playing for 10 years, what you're gonna wanna do is go to player search. Uh, and then, so you just go to scouting players, player search, uh, and then you go to your edit search. You go down to this little wheel right here, you manage your filters. You're gonna wanna import. Is new gen search <laughs> filter? Yes. Click okay. And then once it's here, you just have to go back to this wheel again. It doesn't select it instantly. You have to go back down to the wheel, and click the actual search filter, and now it's there. 
And this is every region in my knowledge sphere. There's an obvious problem with that because every region that I have knowledge of, because if you click over here, this is like the knowledge you have in the game. A lot of the regions in the game, you don't have knowledge of. How do you get around that problem? Well, there's actually a pretty easy solution. If you want to take the time, say you track international competitions or you want players that you don't have knowledge of to have faces, uh, then you want to add a new head coach. And this sounds ominous, but it really isn't. I'm going to create Zillon Cheneau, uh, a very close relative um, of Zillon Shannon. And you're going to want to start unemployed and then none of this matters and just start playing. And so you're going to have another coach in the game. And now what this is going to allow you to do uh, is search the entire game. Okay, it is created. So we're going to go player search. 201,000 players. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, I think we're right. So now we got to manage filters. We got to import it on this new head coach, uh, which is obviously a two second process. Uh, I didn't know. I want to save filter. No. Okay. Uh, sick. There's 57,000 new gens. We've got these 57,000 plus people. Now the other thing we need to get in here is the view that you copied and pasted, if you remember. And so we're going to click this little drop down, go to custom, uh, and then you are going to go to your views. Uh, and there is a pretty obvious one that's, you know, script faces player search that is going to provide all of the information from these 57,851 players that are on this list that are regions and all of them are regions. So cool. We are going to click the first person and then I need you to look me in my freaking eye sockets. But if I have to answer the question like with, oh, you just hit control A one more time. I swear I will bury myself under my bed sheets and watch nothing but Netflix for a week. I won't make any videos, <laughs> but you click the first person and you hit control A. Look, I can do it without even looking. I hope I hit the right. Hey, we got it. Okay. And after you hit control A, you're going to hit control P and then you're going to select text file and hit okay. Once you do that, you're in the same folder. You just copied and pasted your views and filters into, and you are going to title it. Uh, you know, you can say like, Whatever year the youth intake is would be the best way to organize it. So say just like 2020, even though this is 2023, and then you hit save. Now I'm going to tab out and go to my NuGan manager, which you can see because it's moving very rapidly across my screen. Uh, you're going to create a profile if you haven't before. So this would be Oriental Dragon. This allows you to save stuff so that you can preserve it. I'm going to create the profile Oriental Dragon. It shows up in the drop down right here. Then I'm going to select the image directory. We have to go to documents though, which because I am diamet, my brain is diametrically opposed to the way the computers work, even though I've built multiple of them. This is going to be difficult for me to find. This PC, aha, documents. Uh, and then we're going into sports interactive and football manager. Uh, and that is where we find, and that is where we find the thing that I forgot to tell you to do. You remember the face back, right? That you downloaded right here, that you downloaded. You downloaded this face pack. It has a ton of faces in it, and that's kind of like what the UI is designed to work with. Well, you're going to want to go into your file explorer, right? Go to Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2021, and you are going to create a graphics folder. It is likely if you use other face packs, which this, of course, works with all of them, uh, or if you use logo packs or something, you already have a graphics folder. And then make a faces folder and then drop it in here just as I have right in there and it'll look like that and everything will be good. Download it and unzip it to right here. And you can make a graphics folder will not already exist. You make that folder, make the faces folder. The game will be able to read it fine, I promise. So now when you're looking for your image directory and you're using that big brain of yours, you know that this is gonna be the faces because it's the directory of the images. So now I know you go to this PC, document dropdown, sports interactive, football manager 21. We've got our graphics folder and our faces. And that's our image directory. We want to select the whole thing. So stop right there when you have selected FM NuGAN V2. You click OK. That's our image directory. What is the RTF file? That's the text file. That's the fancy thing you don't really understand. It's right here. And so, you know, it fortunately has already opened up for me inside Football Manager 21, just in case it doesn't do that. This is the same place we've been going the whole time. We click that file, 2020. We click Awesome. And if it's the first time you're, wanting, you're going to want to click Generate. 
right? And it's going to generate the faces over every region. If it's the next year, you want to use the same profiles, so like Oriental Dragons Youth Intake a year from now, I'm going to want to do this again to give my Youth Intake new faces. Well, you'll select the profile Oriental Dragon and just click Preserve. And if for any reason you want to overwrite all of the faces on that profile, you'll select Overwrite. But right now, we are just generating. And you want to click right here, Allow Duplicates. I promise it makes it a lot faster. You're not going to notice the duplicates. It also makes it infinite. It won't run out of faces if you're playing in a huge database, which I know a lot of you do. So you get to this point and then you hit replace faces and then it's going to freeze up for a second. Okay, it's it's nothing's going to happen. Uh, it, it's gonna, You're going to click on it. It's going to be not responding. You're going to sit there and go. <gasps> So don't be alarmed if this process takes like 5, 10, 15, even 20, 25 minutes. It's not something that's going to take like six hours. So it'll say finished and you'll click OK and life will be good. The reason I'm wearing this headset is that I actually when I hit replace faces for the first time, we discovered what I think is basically the last bug in the system, which is awesome that it happened to me like right now. And it is just for Windows people. So here's what happened. If you already use the face pack before and you're trying to reinstall with this new version that's actually functional, this new UI, you might have downloaded the original face pack where this folder is named this. And what you're going to want to do is go in and rename it that lowercase the M. So if you downloaded the original version and you still have ETAL capital M E D, uh, you're just going to want to lowercase that. So let's go look at it and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Load, you dragons, load. Okay, so just to show you how effective this was, we're going to go to our team. It's already sorted by age. We can look at our 16 year old region goalkeeper from China. Uh, then we can look at Octavio Alancha, who is our Portuguese uh, striker who came in through our youth intake. But just to show you that because we created that other head coach, that life is good and we're going to be able to have everybody. Let's go to Uzbekistan into an area that we would definitely have no knowledge of. Go to the U19 team, click on a random person, and they are going to have a face that matches up with what they've got going on. Every single one of them is going to have a face that matches up with what they've got going on. So Uzbekistan, U19, so I obviously have no knowledge of these players at all. They're outside of our scouting scope. They also, they also have faces. If you're wondering how to deal with the other manager, I actually deleted the other manager. I didn't save the creation of the other manager, which is one thing you can do. Or you could do what I just thought of, which is if you have the other manager, you go to the other manager up here, uh, you go to home, and then you go to go on vacation and just go on vacation with that manager and tell your next youth intake. And then you can live your life for a year and that other manager is just puttering along. And you're good.